This is Special Report, the weekend edition. Coming up, construction of low-income homes in Carrick who are expected to begin soon. New approach for dealing with underage drinking introduced to primary schools. Pity Martinique to host 31st annual Whitsuntide Regatta Festival. And in sports, Leicester Cricket Club wins domestic cricket tournament. We'll tell you about these and other stories in just a moment. Welcome back. I am Kendall Gay. Work is expected to begin soon on the construction of low-income homes in Karakou as a visit to the site was paid by Minister for Karakou and Pitimatnik Affairs and other officials. Accompanied by Minister for Karakou and Pitimatnik Affairs, Honorable Kindra Matthew and Stewart, Prominent Secretary Walda Kwamina, members of the Chinese construction company and other ministry officials, a visit was paid to the project site at Dumfries. Minister Stewart is optimistic that work on the housing project will commence within the coming weeks. Um, this visit today is essentially to, um, to ensure that all the preparatory work are in order. Um, we expect work to commence within the next two or three months. Um, the, most of the equipment um, will be coming in the next two or three weeks to actually start um, the construction process. So we are here just to make sure that all is in order, to ensure that we, when we start that there is no hiccup. She noted over 100 affordable housing units will be built in the area. You can expect over 100 um, and more um, affordable housing opportunities. You can expect decent living accommodation here at this very site. And you can expect that, of course, our young people and those most in need will be given that opportunity to um, have access to decent um, housing accommodation. And of course, um, the process would, would, would be followed and um, is those who are qualified will be entitled to have those to have access to this type of accommodation but we are very excited as a government we are very excited because we are um, basically assisting and changing lives of persons we know that housing is a major problem here in Karakou and Pichit Martinique and I'm happy to be a part of this um, exercise I'm happy to be a part of this project to ensure that um, we bring some sort of re resolve to this issue here in Karakou and Pichit Martinique I'm also happy of course for our young people as you know there are a lot of young people persons out there who are starting families and basically you know are, are have basically nowhere to go and so I'm happy that they'll be given an opportunity to um, to have access to um, decent housing accommodation. Similar housing projects has been done in the parishes of St. David and St. Mark's. A proactive approach has been taken to help curb the issue of underage drinking in the Thry Island state. <laughs> The Ask, Listen, Learn Alcohol Avoidance Program, which was recently launched in Grenada, is being introduced to the primary schools in Karakou and Pity Martinique. Laptops and resource materials for the program was handed over to the schools by Minister for Karakou and Pity Martinique Affairs, Honorable Kindra Matthew and Stewart. Minister Stewart says she stands ready to support any program that will rid the country of the scourge of alcohol abuse, especially when it affects the future of the nation. Harmony Batiste, Health and Family Life Curriculum Development Officer, notes the program which is activity-oriented is receiving regional and international support. The objective of the program are to enhance character development, prepare students to become engaged citizens, and provide them with the knowledge to not only promote healthy behaviors, but to contribute to success in school and beyond. The adverse effects faced by farmers in Karakou and Pitimatnik during the dry season, which includes the lack of sufficient food and water for their animals, will soon be addressed. Through funding from the Japanese Caribbean Climate Change Partnership, a pasture management project will be implemented. The project will be done in collaboration with the Division of Agriculture, Ministry of Karakou and Pitimatnik Affairs and local government and will see the establishment of four one-acre paddocks. And Lynn McPhee National Focal Point for the Japanese Caribbean Climate Change Partnership says this is one of three projects funded by the partnership. Routine field visit to visit the projects that our UNDP through the Japan Caribbean Climate Change Partnership project is implementing on the island of Karakou. Uh, this one in particular is the Pasty and Panakin project where we are where we will be establishing This one is particularly located in Kamun. So what we're doing here today is basically um, doing a 
we're mapping the site to see the site specific That they'll be, the fodder that they will be providing would um, stem from a species of climate resilient uh, grass species that would be uh, planted by the Ministry of Karakou and Piti Mark The other two projects are the rehabilitation of the Granby Community System and the construction of water catchment surface and installation of water efficient fixtures at the Princess Royal Hospital. Contractors on the island are invited to submit bids for the projects. The three projects have been funded to the tune of over half a million EC dollars. Stay with us, we'll be back after this. Thanks for staying with us. The sister isle of Pichimatnik is ready to stage their annual Whitsuntide Regatta Festival. The sister isle of Pichimatnik comes alive this weekend with culture and sailing as they host their annual Whitsuntide Regatta Festival. It begins with a grand cultural opening on the hard court. Other activities over the weekend would include Rung the Island Boat Race, Color Me Red Fret, Local and Foreign Artist Show and Juve among others. The festival will climax on Monday 21st with a prize giving and closing ceremony. The 2018 P.T. Martinic Whitsuntide Regatta Festival is being celebrated under the theme P.T. Martinic Rock, It's a Love Thing. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The Leicester Cricket Club are the winners of the 2018 Karakou United Cricket Board Domestic Cricket Tournament. An impressive 103 runs by Lasting Titan helped the Leicester Cricket Club chase 288 runs set by the Dover Titans for victory in the finals of the Karakou United Cricket Board Domestic Cricket Tournament held at the Hillsborough Recreation Grounds. Leicester Cricket Club made 289 runs. Here are some highlights from the final game. There's a fielder there, and well done. The piece of hitting by the fielder, tripping on the boundary, but that wouldn't stop Stafford from getting his 50. It's high, now we go all the way. Run with the way. Tickets, turn back the gun, Eric. Chance of a catch. Oh, the ball is Another good shot, and oh, what a beauty of a shot! All the way! Six runs, what a pretty, pretty shot! As of a catch, I need to take the opener. Yes! takes it all the way from the outside, and it's a big hit! It's six runs! A catch taken by Bobby Allen on the, the play of the match. Player scoring the most runs in the finals is Carlos Stafford, man of the match last in Chiton. A special prize was given to Jamal Stewart for being the youngest player in the tournament. Most wickets in the tournament was Nicobe John, most outstanding wicketkeeper Josh Edmond, and the person scoring the most runs and being the player of the tournament is Brendan McKee. And now to recap the main stories. Construction of low-income homes in Karakou expected to begin soon. 
New approach to dealing with underage drinking introduced to primary school. Pity Martinique to host 31st annual Whitsuntide Regatta Festival and in sports Leicester Cricket Club wins domestic cricket tournament. That's all for now in this special report weekend edition. I am Kendall Gay. Thank you new for watching.